hello guys welcome and welcome back to our channel mo and Mpime world it's your girl Mpime here i hope you're doing fine i hope you're doing well all of you uh, mine is just to tell you please if you are watching this video and you have not yet subscribed subscribe 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 kindly subscribe eh? like this comment like this video comment and share it with your friends eh? kindly recruit as many friends as you as you have in this to this channel please 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 and for those who have already done so thank you so much thank you so much for your love and your support so when you see me in the kitchen just know that it's that time it's that time to devour <laughs> to devour some recipes yeah we need to eat eh? men eh? man shall not survive on sleeping alone we need to eat so yeah today i have another interesting video and an amazing a delicious recipe yeah it's a common kenyan snack eh? the street snacks that, that most kenyans love eh? as you can see here let me show you on this side i have small keys there were hey, so many but i've I'm remained i've remained with only four so that's why i've used four four i have four eggs here as you can see i've washed them let me see if this one has broken or not so i want to boil this and in this sufuria there is some water i've just placed it i'll place the eggs so that they can start boiling and usually i like boiling my eggs with some salt i'll cover them and then wait for some five minutes five to eight minutes usually the eggs will be ready it depends eh, with the type of water you're boiling with so many things the um the heat whether it's medium it's low or it's high so let's wait for the eggs to boil and we as we do other as we wait for the eggs to boil let's start preparing our other items that we go with the eggs eh? and this is if you see an onion a tomato a lemon pili. i don't have a dania though i want to to make the kachumbari we want to to make my aiboiro and smoky pasua together with served with kachumbari Some people usually say that when you make this snack at home, it doesn't slap the way it does, eh? Whenever you buy it at the, the streets. I don't know why they say so, but I prefer mine made at home. I don't like buying those things. I know most Kenyans will wonder, hey, how? So, I'm cutting the onions. I'm choking. So here are the onions. Let me take them into this bowl. In order to spice them, I will add some salt. This is vinegar, white vinegar. It's called so, uh, yeah, it's white vinegar. So I'll soak the onions into that white vinegar and some salt. <coughs> As I chop, Remember, our eggs are boiling, so I'm chopping the tomatoes and the 
onions. So that's the first tomato. Want to make the kachumbari that goes with my yai boiro. Hey. Making an evening snack here at home. Eh? With this cold weather, it slaps really well. Eh? So that's the tomato, and I have some periferi. This one is the pepper. I have a green one and a red one. You know, there are some children here who don't take the video, so I'll just go slow on this. So, as our eggs are boiling there, you can see them here. Uh -huh. I think they are leave them still continue boiling so I've placed a pan on heat with some cooking oil let it to so the pan the oil has already heat usually when they are watery or they are from the fridge They cannot pass cooker. Just keep on turning them, and also as you do so, you just prick them. them to cook evenly from all sides that's why I'm, I keep on turning I don't know why people don't like side smokies which are pasukad, but I really love them with these um, stretch marks. 
I really like mine that way. I really do. This one. Mm. So you know that smokies are usually ready to be eaten the way they are. So we don't have to cook them so much. They are ready. Let's let's us take them from the heat. And I'll put a salvage so that they can drain the excess oil. And as for our eggs, now let's check the eggs. I think they are ready, so turn off the heat. We take, we drain this water, coming back. Then, in order to, for the shells to remove, to remove the shells well, you have to pass them through cold water. Now, let's get back here. Here are our eggs. Here are the soaked onions in vinegar. I'm going to wash this off. So here are the onions. Now I'm adding the tomatoes. And the firifiris. I'm really fearing for my kids, but let me just push it. I'll go slow in mixing them. I'm putting them on one side. So I'm mixing. And since I've washed the onions, I'll have to add some salt, just a little bit. And I have this lemon here. I will squeeze my lemon. Mm, to make my kachumbari. It's time to take the eggs from the shell. <sighs> They're still hot and yet I'll run them through cold water. come out very perfectly. You see? Like this.
here we have them. So I'm washing the chopping board. I'm rinsing it because I want to use it again. Here are our smokies. Here they are. Let's go to the next step. Now it's time to pursue the smokies and the eggs. We have them. Now here they are, our smokies and my iboiro with some kachumbari as you can see. Take a look guys, take a look. Take a look at this. Hmm? How do you add them? Should I add some tomato sauce and, and the chili sauce? So guys, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. And hope you have subscribed. Please subscribe, subscribe, like this video, comment, and share it with your friends. So here is our Kenyan snack, most common and favorite Kenyan snack we have made right here at home. And we shall serve it maybe using with the, if you want to add the sauce, it's okay. If you want to add the chili sauce, it's okay. So see you on our next video, guys. Bye.